My name's Anna Bracey, I'm the home manager here at Kirkley Lodge. We're a residential and dementia care home for 47 residents. We have students coming from Middlesbrough College um, weekly to run their own community cafe. Um, we've done this for several years, obviously it had to be stopped due to COVID and then we've luckily been able to restart it since. It's so beneficial to the residents um, and the students alike. The students are getting so much experience and hands-on experience, we're chatting to the residents, it, it's built their confidence from what I can see um, and my residents thoroughly enjoy it. There's, there's one resident who was down here about an hour before the residents arrive so he can get a good seat. Um, he absolutely loves it. My name's Phil Wood and um, I run the Shore Trust in Stockton. So um, the, Sh the Shore Trust here is a garden centre and nursery with a cafe. Um, initially set up to help support adults with learning disabilities. Working with other parts of the Shore Trust and working with Middlesbrough College, that's allowed us to launch this internship program. Um, and we've been working together with you guys to offer opportunity for five individuals from the college to come across and get real world experience. Um, we're hosting the work placement, um, so we're delivering uh, improving kind of confidence, uh, improved skills and practical work skills uh, with a view to then giving someone a really good stepping stone from the world of education into the world of work. We're offering that kind of step in a supported environment with a hope to get these guys into the job market and sustaining employment, starting their career here and then going on to other things. So that's, that's what we hope is happening and what we found with the guys who've come in from the college has been that they've made fantastic progress. Hi, my name is Idris Rashid. I'm one of the directors here at Community Voice FM. So CVFM has been working with Middlesbrough College for about six, seven years as part of uh, this supported internship program. And we've had uh, numerous uh, students that have been on placement here. Uh, Darrell is uh, uh, fantastic in, in terms of the role that he performs. And in fact, all of the students that we've had have made a, uh, positive contributions while they've been here at CVFM Radio. I think it's really important for employers because we can give them an idea of what the roles are in the home and to do it prior to employment um, as kind of like, yeah, like a placement, like a student placement, but then it's also good for employers who can build on those students and kind of nurture them and then their strengths. In our home we've got a student who's in the kitchen and he's absolutely amazing um, and we're looking to get him on an apprenticeship at the moment. We've got other students who we've seen come out of the shell and you think, you know, if they're interested in care we can give them that opportunity. It's really good for employers, especially if talking from personal experience, because we can see how the students react and inter interact with the residents prior to employment. We kind of get that, they get the experience of care and we get the experience of the student prior to them, prior to them coming in and being employed. some of these young people who've come in from day one to, to where we're at now which is you know even not quite at the end of the program so that's been really pleasing to see people who had lots of skills there who had lots of ability lots of potential to actually see that come to fruition through one-to-one -one job coaching support through some patience and through some structure. We thoroughly enjoy the students coming in on a weekly basis and I would definitely recommend um, the supported internship. Like I said, the student we've got currently um, in the catering side, he's now increased the days he's coming in um, and we are looking to get him into a full-time role. All the candidates uh, that we've had over the years have made really valuable contribution and uh, any other organisations out there that are looking uh, to host uh, um, the students, uh, I would wholeheartedly recommend because I think they make a valuable contribution to the work that we do. I'm sure they'll do something similar uh, if you're given the opportunity as well.